Sparks here to play. Mini War Gaming, ask the War Gamer. Mini War Gamer Dave here from MiniWarGaming.com. Welcome, War Gamers, to Ask the War Gamer. If you haven't seen these series of videos yet, then you haven't been scrutinized. Basically what that means is anyone that leaves any comments anywhere, but mostly on the Ask a Wargamer videos now, I will grab and scrutinize. Kinda like this guy's comment right here. Captain Sean says, Hey Dave, I'm building an Imperial Guard army and want to do a specialized infantry list, filling my front line with grenadiers who are supported by heavy artillery support. I also am getting a bunch of chimeras to whisk them around. Is this a solid plan? Sounds like a pretty solid plan to me. But in all seriousness, if you're an Imperial Guard player, the more tanks you have, the better chance you have of winning. Last time I checked, the Imperial Guard are quite squishy. That's what I like to do to guard is Archangel Abel. What are the advantages of Plague over Vanilla Marines and what's the best way to start on Plague Marines slash Demons? The advantages of Plague Marines over Vanilla Marines? There's so many. Like, where do I even... First off, Plague Marines have higher toughness. It can be much harder to hurt them. Next, they have an extra attack because they have close combat plus a bolt pistol. Next are the defensive grenades, i.e. light grenades, which take away an attack from the attacking army that is attacking you at the time that they are attacking. They are fearless, and last but not least, they have feel no pain. Which we all know that with the exceptions of weapons that take out your armor save regularly or that cause instant death, you have two armor saves, essentially. You know, when I think about it, that actually doesn't really sound like too many advantages. Now for the best way to start them. Get at least 30 Plague Marines. Three squads of 10 Marines each. You will love your life and put them in Rhinos. The idea is not to attack with them. They have initiative three, so if your counterparts are attacking you, they're gonna be able to attack you first. Plant your Rhino right on top of an objective and hold it for as long as you can. Which in my latest experience, fighting against Matt, happened until turn seven. As for the demons, I wouldn't even bother. Chaos rules, one, two, three. Hey Dave, you really got me back into 40K and I am thinking about selling my Marines, space, and getting some chaos. P.S. I have five plagues, go wargaming. Yeah, I second that decision. Necromaniac, 56. Oh great and mighty Dave, true god of chaos. I bring an offering of 500 pie plates and a thousand virgins to be sacrificed in your name. The answer to my question that is, so I'm just getting into wargaming, mostly due to you guys. But I have a seriously dilemma on which army to pick and to start playing. See, I enjoy Dark Eldar and their backstory, along with their weapons and such. Then you make Chaos totally awesome, plus Chaos Space Marines have a bigger array of ways to paint them. Another thing is the way the armies fight. Chaos is easier and more rewarding. Dark Eldar is complicated but rewarding. Examples. Chaos way of fighting. Shoot guns. Run into combat. Yell. Blood for the blood god. Profit. Dark Eldar fighting style. Shoot. Shoot more. Shoot more. Shoot more. Hit with speedy stuff. Run away. Shoot. Shoot more. Hit with blood witches and other melee units. Run. Shoot more. Shoot more. Feast on enemy souls. Profit. And on and on and on. So oh great and mighty Chaos God Dave, what should I do? First off, you need to understand something. Dark Eldar is more updated than Chaos Space Marines. We as Chaos players will have a much more difficult time to compete competitively against these players with newer army. In fact, it was even difficult back in the day when Dark Eldar weren't even updated yet. But from the sounds of this situation, you're in need of some land raiders, possibly some obliterators. Seeing as that you didn't give me an army list, I'm not sure what chaos models you have already, but this is what I would do. Two land raiders, one unit of three obliterators. See what he does with that. We're gonna rock. Hi Dave, say hi to me. I just can't do it. Death King. I'm starting up a Chaos Demon army, so what should I get? As I can't buy all at once, I have about 70 pound. Chaos Demons again. This is what I would do if I were you. Pick the biggest, fattest, ugliest, most carnage-filled, rage, awesome, blood, HQ choice and build an army around that guy. If you do this, so much fear will be spread on the battlefield from that HQ choice and you will love your life so much that you're gonna be throwing models all over the place and no one in your club is gonna wanna fight against you because you're gonna win all the time and that is the kind of player that we want to be. I really don't know where this stuff comes from sometimes. EGB Pasta. All right, I'm a new orc collector that has black reach. I'm wondering what to add to my army. Would a truck be good? Thanks for the help if you help me. Yes, a truck would be good. It enables you to assault after moving, and that is a good thing for orcs. In fact, get multiple trucks. Keep in mind, that's about the only thing that they're good for. Being open tops, quite vulnerable. No matter, you're orcs, there's so many of you. You don't care if you live or die, kill each other anyway. Alpha Killer 21. Hi Dave, I am starting Chaos Space Springs. What chapter should I start with? If you're into close combat, collect a corn army, get corn berserkers. If you like the realm of magic, and you like to have an invulnerable save, and kill marines with your bolters, get a thousand suns, or tzinch, zinch, tzinch. If you'd like to take a beating and annoy the crap out of your opponent by not dying ever, get the Marines of Plagues, the Plague Marines of Papa Nurgle. Whatever you do, don't 
But whatever you do, under no circumstance should you ever get a Slanesh army. The noise marines are deaf and they can't hear a word. The higher initiative really isn't worth it because you don't have anything else other than the higher initiative. You're essentially a regular space marine. So don't even bother with that, man. Go with the other three. And for HQ choice for the other ones, go with the Demon Prince for every single one. Point for point, it is the best HQ choice in the Chaos Space Marine Army. I said Chaos, not Chaos. That makes no sense whatsoever. Get your HQ choice, make it a Demon Prince, you will be happy. Mobile Court. Hi, MW Gamer Dave. I have 16 Zerkers, one regular Chaos Lord, one Sorcerer, eight Terminators, one Rhino, and a Dreadnought, but I always get squished by Dark Eldar. Please help. It looks like I'm seeing a common thread here between the Chaos and the Dark Eldar, but thank you very much for giving me the particulars of your list. Now I am more readily able to dissect it. That list against the Dark Eldar list will never win. That is the sad, hard truth, but I gotta say it. You ask me the question, I'm giving you the hard facts here. You're mixing a sorcerer with berserkers? First off, in the fluff, that doesn't even make sense. You got one rhino. You're gonna need at least another one and add another four berserkers to it. But on another note, that doesn't really make much sense either because you have berserkers fighting against the Dark Eldar which have a higher initiative than you and you're gonna attack them, get your furious charge, but that doesn't really matter because they're gonna attack you first and they might even wipe you out before you get to attack them back. Am I right? Has this happened before? It probably should have happened before. So it seems as though a good army to field against Dark Eldar are Nurgle. You may not necessarily want to field Nurgle Marines. You don't have Nurgle Marines from the sounds of it, but try getting Nurgle Marines. Practice is proxying the Zerkers as Nurgle Marines and see what happens. Don't take a Chaos Lord or a Sorcerer. They're worthless. For an extra 20 points, you get a Demon Prince. Literally. Look it up in the Codex, you will see the difference of 20 points. I couldn't believe that the first time I saw it. Why would anyone ever choose a Chaos Lord or a Sorcerer? I have not done it once. I've done a Chaos Lord and Terminator armor a few times and I died every single time against non-Dark Eldar armies. Chaos Dreadnought, not reliable whatsoever. He's fun to field, but if you're fighting against Dark Eldar, that's not gonna be a fun battle. That's gonna be a competitive battle. That's gonna be a battle where you wanna win because you're just so used to getting clobbered and pummeled and destroyed out of your face. I find it's the same thing with the Terminators. I rate Chaos Terminators 6 out of 10. If you deep strike them, maybe you have one good round of shooting, and then after that they turn around, shoot you, and then you're dead. That's a lot of points for those Terminators. Yes, they're cheaper than regular Vanilla Marine Terminators, but that doesn't really matter. We're not comparing those apples to apples. We're comparing Dark Eldar to Chaos Space Marines, and as you can tell, I get very emphatic and passionate about it. I don't know why. This is a call out to all Chaos players who don't have Demon Princes Get your princes in order. Field your princes. You best be attacking his vehicles with your princes. He, being a monstrous creature, has automatic awesomeness attached to him. And always give him wings. Always give him wings. He's a close combat unit. You want him in the battle all the time. You don't want to give him a dumb ability like Doom Bolt where he's firing something dumb. That'd be my best advice to you. Other than that, it sounds like that you're lacking in the troops department. I know that troops choices are mandatory choices and you have to have the troops choices, but troops are a good thing. They fill out your army and they give you a lot of hit points. And always put them in rhinos, always. Chaos rhinos are ridiculously cheap. They are. If you compare them to your brother counterparts, they are jealous of you. Chaos Monolith. Hey Dave, I just started playing Chaos. Since my bro doesn't play anymore, and I need help on what I should use for my list. I have two Demon Prints, one Chaos Lord with Jump Pack and Pair of Lightning Claws, Chaos Lord and Terminator Armor, five Chaos Terminators, Chaos Dreadnought, 10 Chaos Marines, eight Noise Marines, 12 Berserkers, 9,000 Suns, nine Lesser Demons, and a Land Raider. I also have five Possessed, but they fail every time, so I don't bother with them. Also, I have five Havocs. Any ideas for a 1500 points list? This is something that I have done for you that I have never done for anybody in an Ask a Wargamer. I have created an army list with Army Builder. And I will now read that off to you. This is your 1500 point list that you should experiment with in your battles. HQ choice, two Demon Princes with wings. No Mark of Chaos on them. They're just straight Demon Princes that are able to cause havoc on the battlefield. Heavy support, Havocs. Gotta take 10 of them. You said you had a bunch of other just regular Chaos Space Marines and only five Havocs. Take those other Chaos Space Marines, put them in your Havoc Squad. It's a buffer, because you don't want your guys being shot at and then all your heavy weapons are killed. With the Havoc Squad, and according to all the points allocations, I've given them four missile launchers. Now it obviously depends on what you're fighting, but it seems to work out and missiles are scary and they're annoying. Other heavy support choice is a Land Raider. Might as well give it a Dozer Blade because that's pretty embarrassing if you trip and fall. Now for your troops. 10 Corn Berserkers in a Rhino with a Dozer Blade. 
10,000 suns in a rhino with dozer blade. Eight noise marine in a rhino with dozer blade. That, my friend, equals 1,497 points. The other option is throwing your berserkers inside the land raider and throwing away that rhino and spending that extra 35 points on whatever you want to do wherever else you want it. That way you can move an assault with the berserkers, but it's also nice just standing still and firing at stuff with the land raider because, as I said before, it is scary for the opponent. Doesn't matter what army you have, if you got a land raider in it, it's gonna draw some attention. Please try this list. This list, according to the models that you gave me, seems to be a pretty viable option. I am, I'm really dying to know how it worked out for you. So please try it and let me know. That's all the time I have questions for right now. Please leave your comments on this video. Chances are I will look at them and I'll include them in the next video. And if you happen to leave comments that are related to blood angels, I'll probably answer them even more. I want to live my life as a blood angel for the next little while. And that's it. That's all. Happy War Gaming. Eradicator! Visit miniwargaming.com to see our videos one month early.